it's just full on anxiety am at a loss for what to do <sighs> I'm getting so sleepy just thinking about it hey everyone welcome back to another video today I am finally starting my open diary and I kind of just want to talk to you guys a little bit about um, my anxious feelings so the people who watch my videos already know that my contract with my school is ending soon and I will not be re-signing um, one because I can't it's been four years so I would have to go on to a different school or um, quit um, but the other reason is that I am planning on starting school again in the spring and the contracts are only available for year lengths not six months so yeah that means a lot of things need to happen so for one currently my humble abode is offered to me by my school so I have not been paying rent um, the place where I live isn't an apartment building, it is a minbak, uh, so I also don't pay utilities right now. <laughs> so yeah, I've been, I've had a lot. <laughs> um, I've been given a lot and I'm eternally grateful that I wasn't completely thrust into adult life right out of college. Um, but now it's been four years and I, for the first time, have to think about, um, you know, finding an apartment, how much utilities are going to be, how much um, things are going to cost for, like, furniture and stuff that I'll need in my new apartment. Um, I have to think about negotiations with people um, I also have to think about what I'm going to do next uh, in terms of income <sighs> I'm getting so sleepy just thinking about it um, so yeah I have to think about all of those things but I also have to actively tell myself to not think about those things until like July so <laughs> this is where I'm at right now um yeah so I feel like a lot of the decisions that I just listed if I lived in the states I could make those decisions a lot sooner like I know that there are jobs that I could have applied to in February that wouldn't have started until like the end of August um, because there would have been like multiple interviews or they would have or it's just like hey we need this position filled in August but we're starting the application process in the beginning of the year um, to make sure that they can actually find like the right person for the job that's how things work in the states but that's not how they work in Korea um, which is which is you know it is what it is um, <laughs> I'm managing um, in Korea like even the epic process I feel like is very much um, not the typical way that things would go in Korea because even epic I feel like they start their application I want to say four or five months before the position starts whereas in Korea when you're looking for a job here and you're actually in the country um, job applications don't open until like a month before they need the position filled so if they need a position filled in September the application won't go up or won't be broadcast until the beginning of August um, so that's where I am right now uh, 
a lot of the things that I am thinking right now is that I will need to start my own business, whatever that may be. I don't know right now, but that also means I need to like know how to market and if you've seen my Instagram, you can you know I'm not a good marketer, okay? I can't even market myself. Um, so I really just am at a loss for what to do. Um, and I can't really like get anything started or promote anything because I fear that that will interfere with, I feel like that would cause arguments with my current contract because I'm technically not allowed to like teach students that are not the ones at my um, assigned school. So that's where teaching is concerned, but like also having a second job isn't really allowed. So yeah. Oh yeah. The other thing, I need to change my visa now. So that's, that's great. Um, and the thing about changing my visa is I'm not quite sure when I should change it because, because like my, my current visa ends like maybe the same day or a few days after my contract ends is when my current visa ends but I can't just go to the immigration office the day my contract ends to get a different visa because it takes about like a month to process so that means that I would have to go at least a month prior and I would also have to like take a day off if I really want to do it like in that time period right now though I will say um, thankfully the summer break kind of aligns such that I think I will be able to take a um, short break for myself but also to like do all of these things um, in the middle of July so that right now is the plan I'm going to be like looking for housing and um, getting a different visa all in that same time span of that vacation um, and then as far as work goes I really just can't do much until my contract actually ends. I will be going online to see if there's anything available and like marking when um, the application process ends for certain things but the added thing of being like a foreigner in Korea is that if a job is willing to sponsor your visa they will usually want the contract to be an entire year because of the amount of money and time and effort that they have to go through to get you um, qualified for this visa they feel like a year is more beneficial to them which I completely understand but I'm only looking for a solid like six months and maybe I'll extend it if things don't go as planned in the spring but right now I am like actually only looking for like a six month full-time position um, yeah I also don't live in Seoul like I don't a lot of people when they come here they assume that you're gonna live in Seoul most of the jobs in Korea through the through epic are not in Seoul I am in the countryside so then there's the added thing of like I'm not quite sure where I want to move to I'm not moving to Seoul I know that much I'm not moving to a big big city like a major city but I am trying to go less rural <laughs> than what I am right now but not quite sure where exactly because in so I live in Gangwon-do if you look at places in Gangwon-do on um, apps like Chikbang or Tabang which are kind of like Korea's version of Zillow um, 
there aren't very many real estate agents who live in the country who live and work in the countryside putting things up on those apps because most of the people will just go in person to those real estate agents and so I feel like I'm definitely going to have to actually go in person to a lot of these places and see what is there and what is offered. That's an added thing that I'm like not stoked about doing, um, especially because yeah, I speak Korean, but I am a woman and I am a foreigner. So I am constantly, constantly aware that I am like, a prime target for getting scammed in some way shape or form um yeah that's really where this video is gonna end i'm sorry there's no like conclusive <laughs> way to do this really there's no like well at the end of the day moral is there's none of that it's just full on anxiety so yeah <laughs> um thank you guys for watching if you're living in korea and maybe you've gone through this and you have advice for me please let me know in the comments because i need all the help i can get right now um yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye we had an agreement, you got greedy, then you double back That's a no-no, how you thought you'd get away with that? If you switching up, I might 